Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. When the latest patch notes dropped, a lot of people were very surprised by this one dev comment talking about one notable outlier not getting changed is Prince Renathal. He is powerful and popular, but we don't want this patch to completely shake up the meta because we have something fun in patch 24.6. We want to see how Renathal performs in the next expansion before making changes to them. But basically what they're saying is Prince Renathal is on our nerf radar and depending on how the next expansion goes, well, we might outright change him. And this got a large amount of the community community in an uproar, including myself, and I wanted to go over my argument as to why nerfing Renathal in any regard at, well, any point right now would be a huge mistake, and I still can't even believe that they're talking about it. And by the way, a friendly reminder, if you feel like I've earned your subscription, please drop a subscription on the channel, like the video, it helps the channel out a lot. We're gonna put this video into a few parts. We're gonna have the public perception, reaction. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of Renathal, go over the actions that can happen with Renathal in terms of what they can do and what I think the best options are. So public perception, no hands gamer. I one of the most popular tweets regarding the topic. He's an ex grandmaster, high legend streamer, YouTuber. He does it all. He said, this is going to keep me up tonight. One of the best design decisions for Hearthstone in years. And they're thinking about changing it. If you love Renathal as much as me, make sure to let Blizzard know you might lose him or you might lose him. There's always the contrast to it though with pocket train music. No hands words basically against him saying it's gonna keep him up tonight. One of the best future changes that people are thinking about stopping it. If you dislike Renathal as much as me, please make sure you uh, let Blizzard know you may be stuck with him forever. Savid, who is a very popular streamer, YouTuber, um, just all around awesome dude, uh, responded to Nohan's quote tweeting him, agree with Nohan's here, Renathal is by far the best thing to happen in Hearthstone in years and maybe ever. And it hurts my brain to, that they put it on the nerf radar. The success should be celebrated. Still can't believe this is how they feel about the card. And that's basically was my genuine reaction as well. Uh, Meaty, who always has um, interesting takes to say the least. If you know him at all, they're uniquely terrible most of the time, but he chimes in here with Renathal is the most meta impacting card ever printed. I love him, but not everyone does. And like Gen and Baku, he needs to be rotated to wild a year early. Zacco from Vicious Syndicate said uh, this along the lines of Renathal, print strong, scaling synergy package and Renathal gets weaker. Renathal won't see much play in many expansions of the past and contrary to popular perception, it's not great and well, which is true. It's only really good like Reno Priest, uh, which is like the only top tier deck. And then you have like Reno Warlock, Reno Druid, mostly the Reno decks there. It's really it. it. It actually doesn't see a ton of play, but there are some good performing decks with it. It's mostly a bait magnet that helps mediocre bad decks feel better. The fact that Minion Pile Denathrius is the most dominant shell in standard is an indication of how weak the format is and how watered down synergies are. Sunken City, Nathria might be the two weakest April August duo sets since Stan was introduced. I, I cannot forever agree with that. Like the power level honestly is pretty ridiculous. The things you could do in the game. I just think the finishers aren't particularly strong. They've really cut down on burst damage and finishers, but what you can do in the game is utterly ridiculous. So, I mean, don't really agree with that, but I agree with some of the other sentiment. I'm fine with Renathal existing because lots of players enjoy it, but the more you nerf cards, the stronger it becomes. If the third set this year is another sunken Nathria, Renathal will be nerfed, and almost no one will be happy afterwards, including those who want it nerfed. Ben Harstone, who quote tweeted one of my tweets in support of Renathal to say he doesn't really like it himself, put out this tweet. Do you want to see a change to Prince Renathal? With many mixed opinions, it seems like we need a poll. Feel free to share your opinion suggestions in the comments. Based on 1,200 votes, 23% said yes, 63% so overwhelming amount saying no, and 13% indifferent. And when looking at a card like Prince Renathal, typically cards are nerfed for one of two reasons. One, it's a power outlier. The card is just too darn good, it's too strong, and they have to nerf it. Whether it's a mulligan win rate's too high or just the played win rate's too high, something like that, you just kinda have to 
deal with it. Or two, it just feels awful to face. We saw Theotar get nerfed once already for that. It might get hit again. We see that with Mind Render Lucia, as well as other cards like that, that might not necessarily be super powerful, but they just feel bad and they're popular enough that you don't want to face it anymore. So when looking at Renathal, well, does he hit those qualifications at all? Certainly not too powerful. It's not oppressive. None of the decks are out of line. If you look at HS Replay right now, you have a myriad of different Renathal decks, non-Renathal, but nothing is out of line. The only deck that kind of was, was Beast Hunter, which got nerfed by nerfing Hunter cards and well look at that it's no longer the best deck in the format so Renathal's not really a power outlier however does it feel terrible to face and well I think for a lot of players not so much but if they are an of the aggro variety typically players that just want short and fast games yeah it sucks to face but no more than it is to face a control deck to face a Reno deck or a deck that just likes to heal a lot so I don't know how much argument that really has whereas a card like Theotar it's just kind of hated by the majority a lot of players just hate the Otar, whether you're aggro combo control, it doesn't really matter. For a lot of people, they just can't stand it. So it kind of doesn't hit that threshold. And then we're looking at like the pros and cons of Renathal. Well, the card itself has just opened up a ton of possibilities for mid-range and control decks to thrive, to be successful. Cause that 40 health gives you a chance to actually recover to get to your mid-game strategy, your late game strategy, that with the way the power level of the game has been, it's really hard to do. So that extra 10 health can help out a lot, even with the downside of, you know, having a less consistent draw. And I think the biggest pro of the card is just how freaking loved it is. People love to play it. Its play rate is way above where it should be for a card that's not as powerful as it is. And you see the passionate response when they're like, oh, we might nerf this. You get basic community outrage over it. Cons of the card, though, are the longer games that, you know, certain players don't like pisses them off. They want the shorter games. Some players will get sick of seeing that animation. And another important factor is that the card isn't very free to play friendly. If you want to play a Renathal deck, you kind of have to spend more, right? You have to have more legendaries. You have to have more cards to put in the deck. But at the end of the day, you don't have to play Renathal to be competitive. It's kind of like that old wallet warrior thing where if you want to play this cool, expensive control deck, you got to pay up and that kind of sucks. But at the end of the day, that's been a problem in Hearthstone for a long time anyways. So so what are your options for Renathal? Well, you could nerf it. You could change this to 35 health and probably kill the card. You could rotate it to wild in April, I guess, like a Baku and Gen, but I don't like the argument for a Baku and Gen because no Renathal deck is really the same unless they're running like the Denathrius thing, right? But you have mid-range deck of control decks. You could, if you compare a Beast Hunter Renathal deck to a Curse Warlock to a Spooky Mage, it's all different stuff. You're facing the different deck or if you face the 30 card version, it's not all that different. I feel like Baku and Gen was more of like, I'm losing to a hero power every game. That's really frustrating. I don't want to face that. I don't want to be forced into playing Baku and Gen decks all the time because they were pure power outliers, whereas Renathal, they really aren't. And lastly, you could just leave it as is, which is what I would like to see with the card. As you can see, as we went over, the, there's no clear outlier of Renathal decks, and there's a good distribution of non-Renathal to Renathal. If you take a look right now, you have Naga Priest, Curse and Porlock, and Highlander Paladin and top three. Two of those are not Renathal decks. You go down to tier two, you have a non-Renathal deck, a non-Renathal deck, a Renathal deck. This can be either or. Big Spell Mage is either or. Bless Priest is non-Renathal. Fell Demon Hunter is non-Renathal. Control runs Renathal. You can see what I mean. It's a healthy mix of both. And it's interesting to note when you take a look at the play rate of Prince Renathal since the latest patch, at least across Legend ranks, it's sub 50%. It's dropped over 10% because of the popularity a beast hunter making it even less of an outlier i mean bran is at 53 percent should we be talking about nerfing bran well possibly you never know but at the end of the day when you take a look at a prince renathal and its deck win rate of 49.6 percent fact that the card sucks to draw sucks to play but creates such fun experiences for players to build their decks around the only reason you would really be nerfing this card is because people love it so much they play it so much because they love it that seems like the 
really wrong reason to ever nerf a card. I hope Blizzard really takes a look at our friend here, Prince Renathal, and says, you know what? We'll let you them be, and there's a good chance when we make some really broken stuff in the next sets that you're going to want to have 30 card decks anyways, and you probably won't be running him nearly as much. Those finishers and crazy synergies really come together as they typically always do. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day, and stay salty, my friends.